Hello, you guys. Kaylin here. Today, I want to talk to you about three things I learned from my two month old's heart surgery. Yes, you heard that right. When my son was two months old, I took him into a doctor, which I thought was going to be routine. We went in, and two hours later, we the doctor came in after doing some tests and said you need to take your son wyatt to the hospital immediately he needs heart surgery uh, we've already called they have a room for you make sure you go grab your stuff and go to the hospital obviously as a new time mom or any mom in general it's it was devastating news so uh, we packed up um, got my husband and we took all of our stuff to the hospital it was a blur of procedure, monitoring after, and then actually coming back in from some complications. So it was a crazy time. It was honestly a blur, but it hit me with magnitude after probably a few weeks after we got back and life was getting a little bit back more to normal and my heart was mending a little bit. I went outside and I laid in the grass in the sunshine. You know, something that I do, I do it daily and it's actually stemmed from the hospital. So maybe this is a bonus one. I wasn't actually planning on saying this, but in the hospital, I slept on the hard floor. I didn't see sunshine for days. So um, I get out in sunshine and I really feel it. And I get so many great creative ideas and downloads and great inspiration from being outside. So I make sure I do that every single day in the morning. I learned a lot when I was laying in the grass. And the first one was that that feeling inside of you, the feeling that you were meant for more, the feeling that you're really wanting something that is actually there for a reason. It has been placed in you. It is your body. It is your soul telling you that this is your calling. You're meant here to do this. So if you get that feeling like, yes, follow that feeling, it is taking you down a path, that path that you're going to be divinely supported with. So for me, I always dipped my toe in consulting and then back out for years because I was scared to leave comfortable. I had a comfortable job, paid well, liked my job, but you know, I always had that urge for more. So at that point in time, I realized like, yes, that urge is important. It's there. You need to listen to it. The more you listen to it, the more it's going to talk to you, the more glorious, amazing things you're going to get in this world. The second thing I learned was to always stand up for what you don't feel is totally right. If something is not jiving with you, don't feel the pressure to feel like you have to be silenced or don't tell yourself that you don't know better, somebody else knows better. In the hospital, we had some amazing doctors and some amazing nurses. There were a few things that were off though. When we went back for complications, we had a surgeon come in to the R room. Somebody who hasn't even like saw White's cases, never saw White's cases, told us that he was going to have to get vein surgery um, from blood clots. So again, we're like, he has to go through surgery again. Like, what the fuck? So that was devastating for us. And it was crazy. And it didn't feel right. And we were kind of pushed into this. Heart doctor came back that day with a blood doctor. It was in the middle of the night. I was woken up in the middle of the night and they came and said, you cannot do the surgery tomorrow. And they explained why, but getting into it and I knew I didn't feel right. And so do not be afraid, no matter what title they have or who they are, to say, no, I want a second opinion. I am not going to be pushed into this. I need to think more about this. Please, please do that. Another thing too is that we had a nurse who was saying like, no, no, I don't, I don't see this. I don't see this. And I, and I did see something when she was looking at Wyatt and it was very, very subtle. And when we went back to hospital, it turned out that, you know, I was right. She was wrong, but I did not follow that instinct please follow that instinct. Third one is that somebody always has it worse than you. Honestly, you know, there's always somebody in the hospital, always somebody in life who might have it a little bit worse than you, not in general, you know, or maybe in general, but like from one part of their life, they're probably gonna have something worse than you. And they actually probably need to hear something that you have to say. And there is always somebody out there always somebody out there who really needs what you have to offer and what you have to say to them. So never be afraid to go out there and share your message, share your purpose and get out there and help. It will truly change somebody's life, whether it's one person's life, a million people's lives. It's super important and you really need to get out there. So I hope this helped you. And I hope, I really hope that this motivated you to really follow what you desire, follow the inner calling of what's right for you, but also what's wrong for you, what isn't settle well, and make sure you are showing up, showing up every day for the people who need you.
All right, you guys, that's it for today. Please share this. I think that this is probably one of the most important videos that I've ever recorded, and it's really dear and near to my heart. So I'd really appreciate it.